Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about politics. And specifically, I want to talk about this idea that I hear voiced pretty often, which is that politics is a divisive subject. I put divisive in quotes because I don't actually believe this statement. I don't believe that there's anything inherent about the topic of politics that leads to conflict or escalation in conversations. One of the reasons I don't believe that politics is inherently divisive is that I have had really positive, respectful, and fruitful conversations about politics with people who have radically different views from my own. And these conversations can be really awesome. Uh, often they're conversations in which I gain deep insight, and other people express that they've gained deep insight. On the other hand, I understand why people see politics as divisive, because I've also had experiences where I'm talking to people, in person or on the internet, and things get out of hand. Things escalate, the conflict escalates. And, you know, sometimes it seems like things are going fine, and it's like, oh, I say this, they say this, and you're, and you're like, whoa, what happened? That happened really fast and now everyone's really angry, and people are just saying all this stuff, and it doesn't make sense, and it's really mean, and I've had that happen a lot. And I've been really fascinated by this sort of different dynamic. The dynamic of the respectful conversation versus the escalating conflict and the disrespectful dialogue. I could talk about this a lot, but I want to focus on one specific thing that I think is really important. And it's an idea that I see some people voice that I think fuels that escalating conflict. And if you can recognize that idea and steer away from it, you can actually be more likely to have the fruitful conversations. It's this idea that if someone has a view differing from yours sufficiently much, that they are somehow a bad person. So the idea is like, oh, well you can disagree with me a little bit, but like, if it gets too far of a disagreement, then you're a horrible person, how can you possibly believe that? Like, you must be an idiot, you like, don't care about people, like, I hear things like that. If you can wrap your mind around that idea, and recognize it, and then keep it out of your own dialogue, keep it out of your own mind, you will actually be able to prevent a large portion of the escalation. At least you will be able to prevent yourself from contributing to that sort of escalation. Now when you abandon that idea, it's important to sort of, to replace it with something. And what I like to do is to focus on the idea that other people are generally reasonable, and they have reasons for believing what they do. So, if someone voices something that just seems crazy to me, it seems like it doesn't make sense, and initially I can only only imagine a negative interpretation for why they would believe that. I like to remind myself that they might actually have a more legitimate reason for believing in what, what they just voiced. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt in that way, because in general, I have good reasons for believing what I do, and the people that I've taken the time to get to know have also had good reasons for believing what they do. So if I keep that in mind, I find that it leads to more fruitful dialogue. I hope you have found this helpful, and I hope that you will be more likely, not necessarily guaranteed, but more likely to have those sorts of awesome, fruitful, respectful, insight-gaining conversations that I mentioned earlier. Thank you!